Hallelujah. God is a good God. I say God is a good God. For all God has done for us this month, which he is still doing, and for God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko, today is his birthday. We are going to yet thank God and say, Lord, for your good hand upon your servant, for your faithfulness, for your mercies. 63 years is not 63 days. It's not 63 months. God has been good and he's still good. We are going to say, Lord, for all you have done, for all of your mercies, all of your faithfulness, for your mighty hand of preservation, for sustaining the liberation mandate. He has not deviated one minute. We are going to say, Lord, we thank you. As you are thanking him, that's how it will be happening for you. Lift up your voice right now and begin to appreciate God for your faithfulness over your servant, Bishop David Oedeko, for your mercies, for your kindness, for your preservation. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. I am grateful. I am grateful for all you have done in the life of your servant, Bishop David Oedeko. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise and all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. I give you praise. I give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, for strengthening him. For helping him. For refreshing and renewing your grace upon his life. For your ever abiding presence. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. Jehovah Rapha, I thank you. Jehovah Nisi, I thank you. I am grateful to you, Lord. For his family, I give you thanks. For your shield and protection upon him. For always disappointing the plan of the wicked concerning him. For disgracing the agenda of wickedness concerning him. Lord, I say thank you. I give you thanks, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for the liberation mandate that is still speaking loud and clear. I am grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You have thanked God for his servant, Bishop Oedeko. As he's entering a new face, you are entering a new face. Amen. I will encourage you as individuals, as families, as you go back home, you do yet more. Thanking God. Appreciating him for him, appreciating God for his life. And that's how you'll be scaling new heights. Amen. You'll be experiencing new levels of favors. Amen. New waves of breakthroughs will be answering for you. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. This service will answer for you. Amen. 
Whatever goes with this celebration will answer in your life. Amen. If you are saying amen, make it better. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please get seated. In our teaching series, this is the last for the month, exploring the secrets of supernatural breakthrough. Our focus is on the place of gratitude. Please, I beg you, in case you don't know before, know now. Don't allow any ungrateful person to hang around you. They are poisonous and very dangerous. It's easy to know them. But I want you to understand that gratitude plays a major role in every breakthrough, every breakthrough that will take place in our lives. Everyone that is addicted to thanking God, appreciating God, is connected to the frequency of God's goodness. God's goodness has a frequency. It has a wavelength. Just like when you are tuning radio now, when you are tuning it, you look as if you have gotten it. You are hearing shibri, shibri, shibri sound. But when you get it, I hear what I'm saying now, it will be clear. Gratitude connects you to the frequency of God's goodness. Doesn't matter what you have seen before now, the more grateful you are, the more goodness you experience. So you can't know God's goodness without knowing gratitude. And the more goodness you experience, the more darkness fades away from your life. So goodness swallows badness. So the goodness of God is the cure to the wickedness of the wicked around your life. Every time you are giving God gratitude, celebrating him from your heart, you are provoking more of his goodness. More of his goodness. And there is no way you can break through without God showing you his goodness. God's goodness is crucial to every breakthrough that is recorded in my life, in your life, in the church. Gratitude is also the way maker for the mercies of God. In Psalm 136, the psalmist says, His mercy is endured forever. His mercy is endured forever. So the more gratitude you give to God, the more of his mercies you enjoy. Are we seeing of the mercies of the Lord? Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth. Will I make known thy faithfulness to a generation? So the more gratitude you give to God, the more he shows you his mercies. And hear this, you can't get mercy and not experience favor. For thou will arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. So you set your time of favor every time you give God gratitude. You set time of favor. Set time of favor every time you give God gratitude. The mercy of God is also crucial 
to his exemption plan for our life. The wicked is busy setting traps, looking for how you will go down. But every time you are thanking God, his mercy, he says, of the lost mercy that we are not consumed. <laughs> So of the lost mercy that we are not consumed. So you can't be thanking God, giving him praise, and become a victim of the wicked. No wonder the psalmist said that, <laughs> let the trap which he has set catch his own leg. So as you are thanking God, he's exempting you. Everyone that is addicted to giving God praise experiences mercies. And you can't have the mercy of God and not escape the wickedness of the wicked. So be grateful. Though. Don't just be grateful because you are in choir. Be grateful because you mean it in your heart. Are you what i saying now? You know you can be in choir and not be grateful. You are singing from your head. It's not in your heart. So be grateful. So you can really see now that the reason why many people are not breaking through, they think that is their flesh. Scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. It's not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. You have struggled enough. Begin to thank God. God is your way maker. Your connection is not your way maker. <laughs> Hear me? Any person you are depending on, he will soon inspire. Are you what I'm saying now? Huh? Every office is tenured. When the person inspires, God still remains relevant. So gratitude is the key to unending insight. A grateful man will always be drawing inspiration. If you are grateful, you will always be drawing inspiration. God will always be showing you things. Ideas will always be battered in your soul. Why? You are grateful. Why? You know that you are not the one making it happen. God is the one making it happen. And if he knows that you will return gratitude to him, he will always be showing you what will keep you going forward. So if you are not going forward, it's because you are the one making your way. God is not the one making your way. If God is the one making your way, you will always be grateful. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help. He said, my help cometh from the Lord the maker of the heavens and the earth. So ever grateful is ever insightful. Ever grateful is ever inspirational. The more gratitude you give, the more inspiration you draw. The more gratitude you give, the more inspiration you draw. And hear me, I tell you the truth and I lie not, inspiration is crucial to any door that we open. Inspiration is crucial to any breakthrough that will take place. Inspiration. The same way you connect inspiration, that's the same way you connect revelation. Obviously, we know that breakthrough is a product of re revelation. But what gives revelation to any man is gratitude. And thou shalt hear a voice. When a holy solemnity is kept, thou shalt hear a voice. You will always hear a voice every time you are singing praise to him. Also, thanksgiving, gratitude, celebration is the highway for multiplication. It's impossible for the devil to finish any man that is grateful. It's impossible 
for the devil to finish any man that is grateful. That's why by all means avoid complaining. Nothing is working. I don't tire for this place, self. The place too don't tire for you. Be grateful. Whatever you are doing now, be grateful. Out of them shall proceed forth thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them and they shall not be small. I will also glorify them and they shall not be what? Few. So the more you express gratitude, you increase your chance for multiplication. You register for increase. But when you begin to feel that you are the doer or you are the assistant doer, God will just withdraw his hand from your life. Whether in your business or in your family or in your career, express gratitude. You may be small today, but not forever. To just say, though thy beginning be small, thy latter end shall greatly increase. A little one shall be like a thousand. And a small one, like a great nation. Keep gratitude flowing. Keep your gratitude flowing. Keep flowing in gratitude. The more gratitude you show, the more doors are opening. The more gratitude you give, the more opportunities are coming. So if you are not seeing opportunity, if you are not making progress, go and check it. Where you stopped praising him is where he stopped with you. This commandment is to you, O ye priests. If you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, he said, I will curse your blessing. Some people's blessing, they are already cursed. Do you know why? They felt that they are the doer. Or they felt that God didn't do enough. God, you are not trying to. Since I came to this church, all these people that just came, they are just getting testimonies. Do you know, uh, maybe you don't know, but I want to let you know, when some people stand here to give testimonies, some people just be, hmm, hmm. They will just be winking their nose. You won't show us. Nobody is showing you anything. And when you make a mockery of somebody's testimony, you disqualify yourself of getting one. Anything you attack, you are bound to lack. That's why scripture says rejoice with them that are rejoicing. Anything you attack, you will lack. You will lack it. If you don't want anything to finish in your hand, keep thanking God. Keep giving God praise. Get to your shop in the morning, Father, I thank you. This business is where it is today because of you. Father, I thank you for making a way for this business to flourish. For every progress, for every success, for every increase recorded, I am grateful. It's not when you enter. The way I'm seeing today, eh? Bill is in a bad market. Oh. You have already bought bad market with your mouth. The way I'm seeing today. You are not the alpha and omega of today. Do you know? A day can start faintly but end gloriously. they use man's prediction to determine life, Abraham should have ended up as a non-entity. At 75, he should have been concluded as someone that is about to expire. But that was when God was about to start. That's why it's dangerous for any believer to write off another believer. Because when you are thinking that uh, it's, it's all over, 
That's when God is about to say, I'm, I'm about to start. Your story is about to change. Don't forget. Let your mind keep revolving around scripture. He that has begun a good work in you. Has God ever started anything good in you? No, answer me. Has God ever started anything good in you? He that has begun a good work in you is faithful. Is faithful to complete it to the end. He said he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. Faithful is he that called thee who also will do it. He's still doing it. I say he's still doing it. I say he's still doing it. Gratitude also is the key for unending breakthrough. And you know, the more breakthroughs you record, the more greatness you experience. You become enlarged in blessing. You are increasing on every side. I want you to know also that every time we give God glory, what we thought we have lost, he repositions them back in our future. I will restore to you the years that the canker worm and the plama worm have eaten, my great army which I send among you. Hear this? Maybe you don't know, but know it now. Destiny gets fast forwarded with gratitude. Everyone giving God glory, his destiny is fast forwarded. There is no wasted year for a grateful man. Even the one you think that Satan has collected, God bring them back in your future. So the more grateful you are, the more restoration you experience. And lastly, gratitude is the key to stability. If you are not grateful, you can never be stable. Up today, down tomorrow. It's working. It's no longer working. Gratitude is the key to stability. If you are not grateful, you can never be stable. If you want to be established in anything you are doing, be thanking God. If an opportunity comes your way, thank God. If a door opens for you, thank God. If a help I send to you, thank God. Gratitude establishes destiny. It establishes breakthrough. And you know, a breakthrough needs to be established before another one will come. If it has not been established, another one will not come. Call your mind back. That's why we need to take this scripture again. This commandment is to you, O ye priests. If you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, he said, I will cause your blessing. Yea, I have cursed them already. So you must lay it to heart to be giving God praise. Regularly. If not, you can be working in a cost office. You can be driving a cost car. This guy is giving me a headache now. Eh? You forget that you are trekking before.
my prayer for you is that you will have wisdom to kill memory and damage the spirit of complaining. You know, people complain too much. They murmured in the wilderness and they were destroyed of the destroyer. You complain about everything. Even the one that is not a concern to you, you still complain. So the more complain you give, the more complicated your matter. Your matter gets more complicated anytime you enter into complaining. No wonder scripture says, not is give thanks. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In all things, do what? Give thanks. Even when nobody believes in you, give thanks. Are you what I'm saying now? Just give thanks. Even when people are working against you, give thanks. Oh. Do you, let me say this. I think I've not said it. I'll be telling you small, small secrets one by one. The more people work against you, thank God. Oh. Do you know why? It increases the strength of God around you. If God be for us, let me tell you another reason why you need to be thanking God where people are working against you. Any person that have joined himself to work against you, he has registered his falling. Surely they shall gather. So the moment you begin to work against me, I've seen you as someone that will fall as I'm rising. <laughs> Scripture says concerning Jesus, he shall see to the rising and to the falling of many in Israel. That's why a prophecy for my life. Anyone that wish me well, rise up with me. Anyone that wish me evil, go down for my sake. I made it a rule never to be against anyone. That's why I've never seen anything that will constitute a stumbling block to where I'm going. You wish me evil, craftily, cunningly, anyhow, anyhow, you go down. Surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against you shall fall. <laughs> Scripture is waiting to hook you by the neck. So go ahead. Enter gear four. To work against anybody, you will fall. You will just be falling. In fact, the people can even be praying for you. God will say, No. God resists the proud. Set together, I mean, what broken in pieces? Is this scripture? Huh? Yes, the brothers of Joseph, what happened to them? Household witchcraft, they gathered against their own brother. Let's do away with this dreamer, let's throw him into the pits, let's sell him as a slave. They didn't know they were pushing him into his destiny. They didn't know they were gradually moving him to the fulfillment of God's plan and purpose for his life. And finally, finally, when they now met, he said, remember me? I'm that Joseph that you sold. You meant it for evil, but God turned it around for my deliverance. So anything anybody is doing to you, clap out for them. They may mean it for evil, but scripture says, for we know all things. Work it together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So while you are doing your thing, keep doing it. Nobody needs to know what you are doing. But you'll be doing it, you are falling. You may not fall now, but you are organizing your falling. And you know when you fall, your fall will be like elephant sheet. So receive grace. Receive grace to work against anybody you are working against you. Just receive grace. Are you hearing me now? Just receive grace, receive more motivation. I 
as you are walking against the person, you are going down. The earth has received the commandments to make sure that you go down. That's why your lifter is God. Don't walk against any person so that you will not fall. If you do, I assure you, under, as far as this world is concerned, you are not going anywhere. You cannot see the reason why when others are praying for breakthrough, forces are saying, this person can't break through. In all his life, he's only how to push people down. That's what he's doing. And lastly, pride is the worst enemy of gratitude. Pride. A proud man will say, for what reason will I give God thanks? Can't you see all the sweat in my body? Don't you know how I've labored? This thing came to pass by my effort. God will say, hey, your effort. <laughs> A proud man sees himself as the doer of every good thing that is coming to pass in his life. A proud man. No one that scripture says God resists the proud, but give grace to whom? The humble, to the meek. Do you know that you can be in service unit and be proud? We are the ones making things happen in that unit. If we are not there, nothing will work now. Should I tell you something? God will not miss you the day you are not in church. In fact, the day you are not in church, that's when somebody will rise to take your place. Now, let me summarize with this. In every team, in every football team, there are 30 registered players. But there is only 11 that will future in a match. Two of us. When they sit on the bench, do you know one of their prayer? Lord, somebody's leg must break today. <laughs> Am I correct? Lord, somebody's leg must break today. Coach, Father Lord, somebody's leg must break today. Oh Lord, break somebody's leg today. So even when they gather like this, pray. Lord, they say I'm on the bench, oh, but break somebody's leg for my sake. And that's why when somebody's leg break, you will see them running around 100 meters. Why? They are happy that you are falling. No one that scripture say pride goeth before a fall. You hear me? Anytime you are misbehaving, people are clapping. Pride goeth before what? A fall. And that's why after you are finished falling, they say, we knew, we knew he was going to misbehave. We knew. So we knew. We are just waiting for his. <laughs> Should I tell you something? You have the cure to your own pride. You have the cure to your own pride. Ora Robert's mother told him, Ora, as God keep lifting you, keep seeing yourself small in your own what? Eyes. You have your cure. Nobody can cure you. Whatever is making you feel like puff puff. <laughs> Please, I beg you, come down so that God can still be lifting you. So that God can still be moving you forward. No proud man can be great in this kingdom. Any attempt you make to be great, forces will bring you down. Not even which. God's hand is regularly against a proud man. Regularly. Against a proud man. You don't need a witch to bring you down if you are proud. You don't need a witch. Scripture says God resists the proud. So there is no place for witch there. The hand of God is against you. But here it is. You have your cure. 
The cure is with you. The cure is with what? You. That king said, this great empire which my hand has built. And I won't forget one of my mentors, he said something. That hand you will not be able to lift up to God. You will use it to crawl. That king could not lift up his hand to God. But God sent him to the school of zoology. Where he was crawling with that hand for seven years. May you not crawl. I said may you not crawl. Learn how to say thank you for every good thing that is taking place. Learn how to do what? Say thank you. Learn how to say thank you. Sisters, if you are not yet married, learn how to say thank you. Are you not saying now? Don't be claiming, I too fine, I too fine. You too fine, but nobody don't see you. You know why? You find that because you are too fine, so they must see you. Now lie. He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor. So you, have, you must be praying, God, Lord, I thank you that I'm among those that should be found. Not that I'm among those that are most beautiful. No wonder they marry the ones that you claim they are not beautiful, and they leave you that you claim that you are too fine. You are laughing. It's a serious matter. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? It's a serious matter. So at every phase of your life, maintain what? Gratitude. Regularly. Mike Mudok followed Papa in one of the journeys. Just the driving around inside Canaan Lounge. He counted up to 95 times. Papa was saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He was counting it. He was recording it. If you are grateful, it will show. It will show. May murmuring not make you miss your great place in life. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. So people are even murmuring against their husband. God, which kind of mistake will I make? Now come marry this kind of year man. This kind of year, year husband. It's not your fault. The moment you begin to call him your year husband, Satan will arrange someone that will collect him from your hand. The moment you call your husband yeah, yeah, or you call your wife yeah, yeah, you have put a ceiling over your house. Blessing can flow into that house. Rise up to your feet. You are going to lift up your voice, Lord. Have mercy on me. Every form of ingratitude that has made my life to be stagnated. Every form of ingratitude that has made blessings to stay far away from me. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I ask for your mercy. Every form of murmuring, every form of complaining that has made things not to walk the way they should walk, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. God is a good God. Lift up your voice. Lord, show me mercy. Every form of murmuring, every form of complaining, every form of ingratitude. Lord, show me mercy. I ask for your mercy upon my life. I ask for your mercy upon my life. In the name of Jesus, show me mercy. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Lift up your voice and pray. Whatever has made the cloud to be like brass over my head. Lord, show me mercy. Lift up your voice and pray. Show me mercy. Show 
Show me mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your mercy. Show me your mercy, Lord. Forgive me for every form of murmuring, complaining. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. They complained against God in the wilderness. God was giving them manna. They were feeding free of charge. No task. No going to the market. One day they opened their mouths and said, what is this? The meaning of manna is, what is this? And God's servant said, Anytime you complain, what is this? It will remain as it is. I'm tired of eating gari 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 in this house. I'm tired of eating masa. It will remain as it is. Lord, I thank you. You are going to pray. Holy Spirit, baptize me with a heart of gratitude. Lift up your voice and pray. Baptize me with a heart of gratitude. Baptize me with a heart of gratitude. In the name of Jesus. Baptize me with a heart of gratitude. In the name of Jesus. Lekushi aketa and shikutono jesusia prekleketo siyaba. Le kute prekle koza nanze na inkatoz jikoteli hareda basha la shote libre di she close zeri aleta reklotete rio shagalado endo baroto jekuna prekle ketozi atalas lance kale prekle duce soli atal thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed the thing is clearer now Whatever looked like an evil cloud, a cloud of wickedness, fired against your life to make this not to work, you are going to pray by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Let the evil cloud hinder my progress, hinder my breakthrough, be shattered by the mercy of the blood. Oh God, by the blood, let your mercy prevail against every wash of wickedness. Let your mercy prevail against every oppression of darkness. Lift up your, your voice and pray. Let your mercy prevail against every cloud of darkness. Jetulu ekata. Blood of Jesus, prevail for me by the mercy of God. All oh, the speaking blood, prevail for me by the mercy of God. La tonari setakaros en sute kredi aleta rato kapale rize zono. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As we partake of this communion, he said, We take away the heart of stone and I will give them a heart of flesh. As you partake of this communion, you enter into a new realm of gratitude. The psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. As you partake of this communion, that thing that man has mocked you for, by gratitude it will be cheaply delivered. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That thing they have told you is impossible. As you enter the realm of gratitude, God will open your door in the name of Jesus. Your 
days of delay, they are permanently over. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever look like a satanic embargo over you, as you give God glory, his presence will swallow every manipulation. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. You are good and your message forever. You hear me now? Yes. You are good and your message is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your message is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your message is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so good. You are
no to the blessings appointed for you. Let the vengeance of the blood and the anointing come against them. Whoever vowed a wicked vow against your life, against your family, let them not escape the arrow of the blood and the anointing. Any arrow projected against you, as this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, let the arrow backfire against the head. Anyone seeking your downfall, networking for your downfall, as this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, let them be victims of their evil plan. Let them be victims of their evil plan. I invoke that scripture. Surely they shall gather. And not by me. Anyone that gather against you, they shall fall for you in the name of Jesus. Whoever is gathering craftily, cunningly against you, to rubbish you, to blackmail you, to reproach you, let vengeance put them on the floor. Anyone assigned by Satan and witchcraft to stop your blessing from coming to pass, let the arrow of the blood smite them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever they are calling your name for evil, let them answer the evil call. Amen. Let them answer the evil call. Amen. Whoever is taking your name to evil altars, let thunder strike their altar. Amen. Let the God of Oyerebo kill their high priests. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Evil voices calling your name before their coven. By the blood of Jesus, let their covenant backfire against them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Wherever they have locked your name, locked your issues, I decree by the blood, I command the doors to open for you. I command the doors to open for you. It is written. I will give the life of men as a ransom for thee and people for thy life. I pray for you today. Your enemy will give up. Your enemy will give up concerning you. Your enemy will surrender concerning you. Your enemy will give up concerning you. Your enemy will give up concerning you. The remaining days of September 2017, I command the angels of this commission the angels of supply, the angels of favor, the angels of jobs, the angels of money. Open your doors. Open your doors. Open your doors. Release your supply. Deliver your blessing. Deliver your breakthrough. Connect you to your helpers. Dry your tears. Put that blessing in your heart. In the name of Jesus. The remaining days of this week, there will be supernatural supply. There will be financial supply. New doors of opportunity will open for you. Whoever is the wicked programmer, programming you for shame, in the name of the God of Oyedeko, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I invoke their destruction. I invoke their destruction. I command their destruction. Let the western angels of this commission visit every terrible enemy of your life. Visit every terrible enemy of your life. Whoever has vowed a vow against you, I decree, let the vengeance angel of this church go after them today. Go after them today. Go against them today. Bring them to their floor. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your storehouse. I pray for your bank accounts. Receive some divine supply. Receive emergency alerts. 
let there be supernatural supply let doors open for you whoever is connected to the blessing you desire they will not rest until those blessings are surrendered it shall be well with you whoever is wishing that you will die let them die your debts let them die your debts let them die your debts let them go as an exchange for you the trap they have set for you let them fall into that plan so shall it be in jesus name we pray don't forget tomorrow is evening gospel raid whether you have units or you don't have units if you fall into the units of tomorrow just enter in jesus mighty name and friday is another praying session commanding the angels to enforce our blessing and friday 6 a.m family showers of blessing may you not miss it in jesus name as you go go blessed go protected go defended any evil visitor in your dream let the angels of this commission kill them in the name of jesus christ it shall be well with you before sunday you will return with testimony let's share the goodness together surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever amen let the redeem of the lord say so